Okay, what we got here is the uh, framework I'm building to extend the chassis of the 99 Explorer I'm using under my 53 Ford truck. Here we're attempting to get a Thunderbird independent rear suspension system from the 90 Thunderbird uh, Super Coupe I took apart, which is also going to be the engine. What I've done here is uh, I built a box frame. Well, it's not built yet. It's just set up right now. I'm getting ready to tack it together from 2 by 6 by 1 8 inch wall thickness steel. Uh, I've got it all clamped in position here. I spent a couple of hours getting it all leveled up, plumbed and everything. What I'll do first is tack it together. I won't weld it to the frame until it's all done because I need to take it back off, turn it upside down. I've got stuff to put in underneath of it. As you can see, it's notched out and you can see spacers and what have you. The spacers are just temporary stuff in there to hold it up to the right height. Uh, I'm going to have to cut some more pieces, some quarter inch plate, and uh, that will be the pads that mount the uh, rear pads on the uh, suspension. In front, I'm going to have to build a couple of towers, and uh, that's one of them there. It'll be about seven inches. Probably be using a half a piece of uh, four inch heavy wall pipe, and then weld it up into the frame. If you've looked at the site, you probably saw what this looked like before I uh, took the rear section out. What I had to do here is cut the top out of the other chassis, the old Explorer chassis, so I can slide this down into it. And the reason for that is, is to make this just the right height for the bed floor. When I redo the bed, the floor will be made out of a one eighth inch tread plate, and it'll have cross bases underneath it to bolt directly to tabs I've got to weld on this. And what I'll do down here is I'll cut this at an angle like this and box it in on either side. You can see the other side over here. You see the piece of two before and some shim stock in there to fasten it up to the right height. I've got clamps everywhere on it right now. Um, what I'll do first is get it all tacked up and then I'll put indexing tabs on here so it'll set right back down in the right places. What I did with the independent rear suspension from the Thunderbird is get it set in the exact right position. You got it leveled up and everything. It's got, uh, you can see stuff piled up underneath of it. It's shimmed up to the right height. And uh, this here, this front section here, should I should be able to put a, uh, a U-strap that came out of the, uh, the original Thunderbird. I got it laying around here somewhere. I've got stuff piled up every way. Anyway, that'll keep the drive shaft from flying around. With the independent rear suspension, the differential is fixed mounted, so the drive shaft won't go up and down as it does in a regular system. The differential doesn't move, just the suspension and the wheels and the half shafts do. This is looking on down from the front. This should make the truck almost appear to be slammed even though this chassis has a lot of ground clearance. The, the leading edge of the front fenders and the rear edge of the front fenders will be about 8 inches off the ground, which is plenty close enough for me. But I will be able to adjust a little bit because the torsion bar suspension in this 90 model, uh, no, it's a 99 model Explorer chassis will uh, be adjustable. The torsion bars are adjustable. Uh, I don't know how it's going to set in the back yet. Uh, it may require either spacers to raise or the rear springs or else uh, cut a little bit of the coils off. Uh, what I'm going to do, I cut the old uh, pieces out of the Thunderbird with the, the top pockets for the springs. Actually, it's not a pocket as much as uh, a centering point. And these were cut off the Thunderbird, and I'll trim them off and make them even, and uh, they'll go up underneath 
the frame here. Uh, about like that. And it'll be a, a quarter inch thick by five inch by fifteen inch piece that goes along in here from back about right here and out to here and it'll have triangulated braces on it. I still got a lot to figure out here, but uh, basically that's what's going on so far.